Good morning, New York, and Kalispera. Good afternoon to our friends in Athens. We have a very exciting and entertaining program with distinguished guests and speakers from the fields of audiovisual productions and studio owners where many new film and TV productions have taken place and will take place in the future. We will touch today, we will touch upon matters of educating our labor force in Greece to rise to the challenge of um, the growing audiovisual industry. We will play trailers, we will show pictures, and we will use audiovisual techniques in our presentations. So we begin with a full presentation of the activities of the National Center of Audiovisual Media and Communication that will be made by the president of the organization, Mr. Panos Kwanis. And um, just for your information, going forward, we will be referring to the organization with the abbreviated name ECOMED. Uh, during the summer, uh, Ms. Alexandra Spiru Mitsakis, uh, who is the director of the Hellenic America Chamber of Commerce, and myself, had the pleasure of meeting with Mr. Kwanis in his Athens office and learning all about the Comet. It didn't take long to decide that the Comet's work and investment incentives should be communicated to our members and friends, uh, both chambers, uh, the Hellenic America Chamber of Commerce and ICC Greece, International Chamber of Commerce. Alas, I want to thank Mr. Kwanis and Mr. Dukas for their collaboration with us to put together this forum. And now I have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Panos Kwanis. We have connected with his office in Athens, Greece. Good afternoon, Mr. Kwanis. How are you? Kalimera, Kalispera. Please allow me to introduce you. Thank you very uh, much. Mr. Kwanis, since 2017, occupies the position of chairman and CEO of ECOMED. He has a PhD and a BS from the University of Athens and has a Master's of Science in Broadcasting and Film from Boston University. He has extensive experience in all aspects of the media industry. He also has academic and teaching experience and has published several research papers and has participated in many conferences. Mr. Quinish will present to us what is ECOME, what are the investment incentives in the audiovisual industry, and what has been accomplished up to now. And we will start with a short video. Mr. Kwanis, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, greetings, uh, everybody. Let me just share the PowerPoint presentation. Is that okay? Well, I am. Uh, as Ms. Vlarinou said, I'm Panos Kwanis, the president and CEO of ECOME, the National Center of Audiovisual Media and Communication in Greece, an organization supervised by the Ministry of Digital Governance and the minister himself, Mr. Kyriakos Pierakakis. Four years ago, we embarked on a very adventurous journey. It was difficult and demanding, full of obstacles, but at the same time, exciting and at the end, very rewarding, as with hard work, persistence, and perseverance, we managed to accomplish a lot more than we expected in a very short period of time. Our initial plan may have sounded or looked simple, especially in the eyes and ears of an outsider, but for someone who knows our country, it wasn't. What was the idea? To make our country a film-friendly country. What this meant in practice was to create a whole ecosystem a set of infrastructures that combined, operate in harmony, and in such a way that reveal the real potential of our country, Greece. What it can offer to its own people, as well as to the producers from all over the world, 
who decide to visit us and honor us with their presence in order to materialize their film or TV production. Today, I am proud, we are actually all proud at the Come, to say that we have accomplished this task. We have managed to successfully create and constantly test a permanent system that allows the creative industry of filmmaking and storytelling from all over the world to come to Greece and be able to thrive and produce with all the necessary tools in hand. Our aim was to create very attractive incentives and be able to facilitate in the most efficient way producers and production service companies in order to materialize the story in Greece for audiences all over the world to watch and upload. In order to accomplish that, we started with the very basics as we live in a material world, that's money. But we ended with the most important thing in life, which is of course people. Let me elaborate on that. First of all, we provided the industry with a strong and competitive financial incentive. Actually, to be more accurate, we created two. We currently have a very successful cash rebate program of 40% with a cap of 12 million euros and the eligibility of non-resident labor for projects over 8 million euros in Greece. Eligible expenses include above the line up to 35% of the total eligible expenses incurred in Greece non-resident labor up to 50% of total eligible expenses, and most of the below the line expenses with a few limitations. I won't get into detail for that. Producers may visit our website or get in touch with us, and we are more than willing to provide them with all the necessary information. We also created a tax relief program for potential investors in order to attract private investors in filmmaking that deducts 30% of eligible expenses of a film production from the net taxable income of an individual or a legal entity. The tax relief program may be combined with a cash rebate program and has the same eligible costs. Secondly, we created the basic infrastructure for servicing the production companies coming to Greece. This new service-oriented approach in our country focused on providing tailor-made full services with less bureaucracy in two levels. The first level is the initial service provided by Come. We created a central point of communication for the whole application process and implementation of a production in Greece with an easy and fast track process as both the cash rebate and the tax relief programs operate through an online electronic application system from the very beginning of the initial application before shooting the film to the very end with the payment of the cash rebate or the tax return. It is an easy process made to work for each individual project with basic and slim, simple requirements. The script and the cultural test, the budget and the financial plan, cast and crew information. The Greek cash rebate is highly bankable. It can be used for gap financing and or short-term loans for cash flow of the production. It is co-production friendly and as it may be combined with other state aid programs up to 80% of the eligible budget and it is undoubtedly cr credible as we have a two-tier auditing system. Your only obligation is to come to Greece, use our locations and people of course and mention us in the credits. For that we have a very 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 attractive logo at the Come. We provide producers and public and, and production service companies with assistance all through the process and especially in the unfortunate event of changes in the production, which in filmmaking happen very, very, very often. The service provided on location. For that, we cooperate closely with the 13 regions and the two key cities, Athens and Thessaloniki, in order to set up and operate the local film offices. Those initial 15 film offices all over Greece provide production service companies and producers with all the necessary information and assistance a variety of locations depending on the needs of each project, the permits for shooting, local cast and crew, especially extras, accommodation, transportation and catering issues. Our aim is to provide guidance and a highly personalized service with confidentiality from a team of, from a team of experts on location. And that is for any kind of budget, low, medium or high. We value all productions coming to our country. Our third action, was to promote more actively our assets, which is the fact that Greece is a natural studio. The country is an incomparable, natural and diverse set, unique, accessible, and above all, friendly. Greece offers a variety of options that serve your story, 
plus the continuous help from local people. With magnificent coastlines, volcanoes, sand dunes, waterfalls, snow-capped mountains, tropical forests, ancient sites, historical monuments, industrial buildings, urban, rural, ancient, medieval, classical, modern, unbelievably one of the richest cultural heritages in the world. All easy to reach within one hour drive from coast to mountain. Greece has 6,000 islands from which only 227 are inhabited. We have 53 airports, 42 civilian and 11 military, a complete and regular network of maritime transport and train connection in the mainland from north to south, east to west. Add to all of the above the well-known traditional Greek hospitality, the fact that Greek people by definition are open-hearted, warm and helpful, and you have the perfect location. Another very important parameter is the fact that Greece has highly qualified, experienced film professionals and state-of-the-art facilities. We have experienced, specialized and skilled professionals in all the stages of film production, crew, talent, such as actors, dancers, extras, production companies, sound stages, VFX, post-production companies, sound design, dubbing, subtitling, equipment rental. And in order to secure that, we constantly support the implementation of various professional training programs. Finally, our country offers one of the safest and most secure environments to materialize your projects. To be more specific, according to the latest biennial travel and tourism competitiveness report published by the World Economic Forum in Geneva, Greece is one of the safest countries in the world, ranked higher than all of its neighbors, the Balkan countries, Turkey, Italy, North Africa, the Middle East, even countries like UK, like France, like Germany, China, India, and Russia. And this is not the only index. The same high ranking we have at the Global Peace Index of the Institute for Economics and Peace and the best country reports uh, by Wharton and the US News. Even with the latest crisis of the pandemic, since last March, Greek people sacrificed a lot so that the country may be able to come out of the crisis with a minimum casualties and losses. And we succeeded. It is not by accident the fact that since the June 2020, when film production resumed in Greece, we had a huge rise in international productions coming to Greece for shooting. Both the government and the Greek people managed to successfully handle the crisis, and that provided both to local and international productions a healthy and safe environment. As we are now approaching the end of 2021, and the pandemic crisis is still evident all over the world, we keep taking all the necessary measures in order for film productions to operate under the safest possible environment. So for all of the above reasons combined, Greece is the ideal destination for your next production. As I conclude my presentation, I would like to invite you to come closer to us, to get to know us and what we have to offer both as a country and community of filmmakers to you and your project, your story, and how we can make it together, not only better, but in any way unique. And so it is. Thank you very much for listening to me. Sas ευχαριστώ πολύ. And Mr. Poynish, you also had a little video you wanted to play? Yes, we have a short video from our from, from a production. Let's exactly. Could we have that, please? The way Ecome does things is not a matter of incentives. It's a matter of perspective. Innovative, fresh, and dynamic. Ecome introduces the Greek audiovisual industry. Ecome invites growth and investment. Learn our incentives for potential investors. 75 million euros in cash rebate. 150 audiovisual projects. 37,000 employees. Expanding personnel education, lifelong training, promoting media and information literacy for all. Countless versatile locations. Creation of a National Film Offices Network. 
15 film offices across Greece. Preserving cultural heritage through the digitization of archives. More than 150 million invested in production works. Film Office Network Greece. Always open, even during the pandemic. Mr. Kwanis, you, you have given us a very, very informative presentation about the commerce activities and achievements up to now. Uh, allow me to ask one question that comes to my mind. What is next? both for the industry and ECOMER? Well, uh, that's a good question. Well, the thing is that uh, the audiovisual industry in Greece is a rapidly growing industry. According to the latest data, only through the financial tools of ECOMER, more than 170 projects have been implemented with a total investment in the country that exceeds 250 million euros, creating more than 42,000 jobs. The results are impressive and in a very, very short time. ECOME, as I said, is the public arm of this audiovisual ecosystem. The successful operation of this ecosystem requires a strategy that is constantly reviewed and adapted to a volatile global business environment. And at the local level, depends beyond the cultural peculiarities of our country, of course, on the strength and effectiveness of political leadership, the policies applied in relation to entrepreneurship, the possibilities of providing adequate financing to companies, the quality of human capital, the friendly venture capital markets, and a number of institutional and support infrastructures. The continuous cooperation of ECOME with the supervising Ministry of Digital Governance created the necessary institutional framework for the implementation of a modern business ecosystem through the enactment of the necessary laws and the implementation of pioneering tools such as the cash rebate and the tax relief. The secret of the success of these tools was and remains the constant monitoring of the competition abroad and the cooperation with the foreign domestic production companies that implement the projects in Greece, so that these financial tools are constantly adapted and the relevant processes are, are improved. This support of the state became even more visible with the sufficient financing of the incentives through the public investment program with 75 million euros until 2022, while their successful operation results in the strengthening of this financing for the following years. But to create a modern business ecosystem, financial incentives for production are not enough. There has to be specific interventions that are needed in order to create, first of all, a sound and, mo sound and modern companies produ producing audiovisual works. Most companies in the sector are small and medium-sized enterprises with inability to finance their working capital and with very limited business potential. The first problem tends to be solved with the gradual familiarization of Greek banks with the peculiarities of our sector and the creation, of course, of the Loan Guarantee Fund for audiovisual production companies by the Hellenic Development Bank. The latter can be overcome only with continuous vocational training, the empirical knowledge also from the contact of those companies with international and especially high value productions and the adaptation of their administrative structures uh, to the needs of a modern international business environment. The second is a uh, permanent infrastructure for production with new modern technical equipment, which will increase the footprint of our creative industries in the country's GDP. Our country lacks infrastructure that can serve the requirements of high value international productions, such as studios with large sound stages. Uh, the new investment law of the Ministry of Development and the various financing programs created by the government I believe that can be the vehicle for attracting investments in these direct directions. Uh, also, adequate number of employees to meet the ever increasing demand, uh, experienced professionals who can serve in the best possible way the production of high value audiovisual works in our country. Greek professionals must acquire higher specialization and greater visibility in the relevant market. In this direction, ECOME from the beginning cooperates with both Greek and foreign companies for the creation of internship programs in order to train young professionals. It also supports the implementation of virus, of, of virus continuing educational programs for professionals in the field. Also, as we said before, 
local infrastructure throughout the country, service hubs for the audiovisual productions in the regions and the two major municipalities, Athens and Thessaloniki. The film offices strengthen the brand name of the region and our country as they are a one-stop shop for servicing film and TV series. ECOME has secured 5 million euros from the public investment program for the implementation of this project and is cooperating in this direction with all the involved stakeholders. Last but not least, a more effective system of support and access of domestic productions to the international distribution and exhibition markets. This presupposes, first of all, a high level of understanding of the international markets, as in audiovisual content is produced and distributed in many forms. Uh, technological developments, the recent pandemic crisis, and the consequent change in consumer behavior have led not only companies, but also most countries in Europe, America, and the rest of the world to review their policies regarding the way and means of distribution of audiovisual works. To conclude, ensuring the continuous financing of investment incentives, improving the services provided in our country, adapting to the ever increasing demands of the international markets and adopting practices that ensure the increase of jobs and the strengthening of the competitiveness of industry professionals and entrepreneurship in Greece and in the center of our strategy here at the COME. Every day we work systematically for the promotion of our country as an attractive and safe destination for the implementation of audiovisual productions. And in order to succeed in that, we need constant cooperation and consultation between the state, businesses, and industry professionals. Uh, it seems like you thought of everything for the future of ECOME and <laughs> how to address the needs for uh, the growth of um, audiovisual industry. So we thank you very much for all the work that you do to promote the investments in Greece. And uh, we also thank you for your collaboration to put this forum together with the Hellenic American Chamber and, uh, of Commerce and the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC Alliance. Uh, I, thank you. Your... I thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to pass the message. Our pleasure. For the audience's uh, information, Mr. Kwanis will be standing by throughout the whole event to answer any questions that might be left unanswered at the end. Uh, so we thank you, Mr. Kwanis.